drummingforlife.com. Hey there, it's Vaughn at drummingforlife.com. Aloha. Hope you're doing well. So today I want to share with you uh, my basic bossa nova brush motion. This is a really critical motion for a lot of the things that I do with brushes, a lot of my different grooves that I play. So I thought it was a great opportunity for me to share with you this foundational kind of motion or pattern. And I think it's going to help you a lot too in your brush playing. Now if you want to go deeper into bossa nova and samba brush playing, uh, I do have 10 videos actually in the section on bossa nova samba brush playing in my Brushes Mastery course at jazzdrumschool.com. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe and uh, be sure to ring that notifications bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. As well, please swish that like button if you like what you see and leave a comment. I'd love to respond to you and I do respond to all of my comments. So I'd love to connect. Now let me show you kind of what I do. So the left hand is going to do some swishing motion and the right hand is going to do some tapping. So you can probably see I'm just basically moving back and forth between my two hands. So my right hand is going to be playing taps always. My left hand is always going to be playing a swish. And what happens is sometimes I'm playing the, the downbeat with the right hand and sometimes I'm playing the upbeat with the right hand. So if you hear it, if I'm, I'll just play it real slow. One and two and three and four and 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 one. See what I'm doing there? So I'm, I'm kind of, I can change it up. I can change going from playing this hand playing on the downbeats to playing on the upbeats in a pretty simple way. Let me show you how to do that. So what I'm doing is if I'm playing one and two and three and four and just insert an extra tap and you're going to change the direction. One and two and three and four and one and two and and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, see what I'm doing there? When I'm doing the extra tap, I'm kind of dragging my brush a little bit to kind of give me some time. And then I bring the hook the hook the pattern back together again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. All right. And when you, you could do this really any speed you want, you can do it as bossa nova, you can do it as samba. Let me show you some uh, some some samba with it. One, two, uh, one, two, two. The really nice thing about this is that uh, you don't have to play long phrases of one or the other. So I don't, I don't want to have to kind of keep going like this or the offbeat, right? I want to, I want to mix it up more. That's kind of the Brazilian style comping is kind of responding to that tambourine pattern. That, uh, uh, So we want to we want to use that kind of that those different Brazilian rhythms in our brush playing, and so this allows you to do that. Allows you to switch back and forth between the two. Right. So it's kind of a fun way to do it, and you can go really really fast with it too. One, two, 
So a lot of the nitty gritty of how I do this, uh, a lot more of the detail is of course included in the Brushes Mastery course, so I hope you'll check that out. Uh, but I hope this is helpful for you uh, and hope it expands your overall ability to play uh, brushes in a, in a bossa nova or samba style. So you just have to remember to play that, is it, is it playing like this? Or so you can do it in that bossa nova or that samba style. Either way, works really, really good. And I have to say, from experience over the years, it works. It really locks in well with whatever. Like for instance, if I'm in a trio, piano trio situation. Uh, that works really well rhythmically with what the pianist is playing. Uh, and it, it just pretty much it works great in solos. It works good everywhere. So I think you'll get a lot of mileage out of that. And I hope you'll uh, you know, kind of experiment with that and see if you can uh, add that into your, your brush playing, into your, your bag of tricks. You could, oh, it's like the bus and over pad. Oh, yeah. You know, hope it, hope it helps you do that on the bandstand. So just a couple more things I want to share with you. Uh, I have my drumming blog at vonbarrenmusic.com and it's set up really uh, to help you become the best jazz drummer you can be. Uh, I also have my private lessons at uh, you can sign up for at vonbarrenstore.com and while you're there you can also get some great uh, drumless tracks, uh, drum practice tracks to help you improve your jazz drumming and prepare for playing on the bandstand. And uh, I also have my Brushes Mastery course, as I've mentioned, at jazzdrumschool.com. So I hope the video was helpful, and uh, as I always say, keep on drumming! Take care. Drumming for life.